And we're getting ready for some 4th of July fun this morning. And learning how to be safe with fireworks and the hot temperatures. Joining us now, Division Chief Melissa Spielman from the Green Bay Fire Department. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. Let's start with the fireworks. What are your, your main tips for people who are planning to light some off this holiday? Um, some, some basic tips uh, for fireworks uh, safety, if, if you're doing them on your own, uh, is really making sure that um, adults are the only ones lighting them off. Um, keep in mind that fireworks um, start the most fires um, on the 4th of July. Uh, during you know the, the scope of the entire year um, so there you really really need to be safe and and just to add to that our, our biggest piece of advice would be for folks to let the the uh, professionals do it so again come down to you know lights park here fireworks or fire over the Fox to see the fireworks show that's going on tonight or if there's something in your local community um, the professionals really are the folks that should be lighting these off. Melissa, a very diplomatic way to say, don't do it, right? <laughs> we, we would prefer that you don't do it. Just uh, not only for, for fire safety, but also personal safety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what about this, these scorching hot temperatures that we're experiencing? You know, not only today for the event, tomorrow is supposed to be terrible. Uh, what do you want yeah. people to know about staying hydrated and all that? Um, the best thing to do um, when you're out in, in the heat, the sun, the humidity, um, I think as I just heard Pete say, uh, make sure that you wear light colored clothes, you, make, you wear loose fitting clothes, you stay in the shade, uh, you might want to bring an umbrella with you, um, and drink as much water as possible. Um, as soon as you feel thirsty, your body is already starting to become dehydrated. So you kind of want to stay ahead of that. You want to uh, drink as much water and even more mm -hmm. <laughs> as possible. And so. you, you, the crews that are going to be out there tonight, today, keeping people safe, uh, they've even geared up with some extra supplies to make sure people are hydrated, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's uh, exactly correct. We, um, we're going to have some extra IV fluids in case we need to give intravenous um, fluids to people who, who are low um, on their own <laughs> fluids. Um, but also uh, cool packs, we'll have lots of cool packs in case we see people that are suffering from signs of, of heat exhaustion and heat exposure. Well, Melissa, thank you and, and everybody working there uh, to keep us safe. And um, you have a, a great 4th of July. I know you're going to be doing some work, but uh, thank you very much and thanks for all your tips. Thank you very much and have a safe 4th.